what's up you guys welcome back to my channel um the name of this video is not clickbait and before i get started on this video i just want to put out a few disclaimers everything that i say in this video is my opinion and it's based on my experience in the bodybuilding world if you compete currently or used to compete and you disagree with what i say that's great but again this is based on my experience um i also want to say i'm no longer associated with any competing body or federation um this is not an advert for any of the things that i will talk about um and I, I just want you guys to understand that I'm sharing this with you guys because when I started out, nobody gave me any of any kind of direction. I had to find stuff out by myself. I also feel like I didn't do a lot of research. So for those of you that are thinking about starting to compete, these are some of the things that you're going to have to consider um, along your route and think about. Um, the past week, there's been a lot of shade being thrown between athletes and federation um, accomplices staff whatever you want to call it about the use of banned substances in the bodybuilding world so ex federations owner came onto a news channel and was talking about how bad this stuff is um, you know it can literally have hectic health implications on you and blah 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 and why federation was like what the hell why are you trying to, you know, what are you trying to do? Kill the sport of bodybuilding? Because we all know these men and women use things to enhance their physique. So, um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about my experience with banned substances in the uh, bodybuilding world. Number one, if you are starting out and you are scrolling through your Instagram and seeing these girls that look really beautiful, you know, their booties are perky, they've got nice um, hourglass shapes, beautiful, you know, and you're like, oh, I want to do this, because that's how I got in. I was on Instagram and I thought, you know what, I want to look like this. Do your research, um, find a coach, interview your coach also. The coach is not interviewing you. You are hiring the coach, so you interview the coach to find out if you guys are on the same wavelength, if you guys are a good fit for each other. Um, and then take it from there. I'd also suggest that if you're starting out, do a prep before you start prepping for your first competition. The reason I say that is because if you do a prep before you start prepping for your first competition, you will be able to find out whether you can spend 16 to 20 weeks um, doing this thing and whether you're going to be able to handle it. Um, when you're on zero carbs and your body fat percentage is quite low it changes you as a person um, I, I, I'd like to think I wasn't such a you know when I was on low body fat percentage and no carbs but uh, that's because I was probably eating some Oreos behind closed doors that's the story for another so um, yeah if you're starting out get a coach interview your coach do your research speak to girls that are competing go to shows watch it um, speak to the girls at the shows and find out what it's like befriend some of the girls train with them interact with them so that you know exactly what you're getting yourself into now also decide for yourself why you are doing this I think this is a big one for me decide why you are competing because that will determine how far you get so if you're competing just so you can have treated apps on Instagram that's not going to last if you compete and you know that you want to turn pro by 2024 or whatever, um, I think that would be a solid reason for you to look ahead when you are on low carbs and low calories and low body fat percentage to be like, you know what, this is situational. I've got a goal to work towards um, to get you there. Um, now. If you are going to be competing at a high level, um, if you're going to be doing world championships, if you're going to be doing uh, national championships, you need to understand that you're going to be standing on stage with girls. And I'm talking, I'm saying girls because I'm a girl. I compete 
competing against girls. You're going to be standing on stage um, competing against girls that are using banned substances. And the reason I say banned substances and not just steroids is because it is not only the steroids that are banned. There are many other things that are banned that people use to help their body lean down quicker. And yeah. So I'm going to share with you guys two um, banned substances that I was using. And once again, disclaimer, nobody forced me to use this. It was a suggestion that was made to me and I thought, you know what, I want to be a pro and I don't have a chance. Well, I do have a chance, so I did have a chance to stand on stage and win my pro card when I'm all natural and I'm only eating and just using whey protein when these girls are injecting things into their bodies and whatever else not. So. Um, these are the two things that I was using. One is a steroid, I've got 15 milligrams for it uh, per day. And obviously I'd, I'd have a cycle like three weeks on, one week off, just so your body can, uh, just so that they're not negative adaptations to the steroid. The second one was a fat burner. Yes, there are fat burners that are bad because they work. <laughs> get off the shelf at this game that just doesn't work <laughs> but um, I stopped using it because I was getting like really hectic um, headaches and I'm surprised that I didn't have an aneurysm and die because yeah it was bad my blood pressure was quite high I don't remember what the reading was but I did go to the doctor and I had to be like yo this is what I'm using and then um, we took me off I say we, my coach and I, took me off of the fat burner, but yeah, here it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's the fat burner, and this is the steroid. There you go, Anavar is the name of the steroid, and I still have these just because I didn't throw them away after I was like, I'm done competing. But those are mild things, okay? You guys might be like, oh my word, she's using whatever, 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 okay? Those are mild things. There are other things that I don't even know what they cause, but there are other things that people are willing to inject into their bodies. There are estrogen suppressants. I cannot imagine why any woman would want to suppress their estrogen, okay? This is what makes you a woman. Um, but actually I can because in order to adapt your body in the way that we want to, you need quite a, a higher amount of testosterone in the body. So, so on this video of the news channel, a gentleman who recently got a kidney transplant was talking about how his use of um, bad substances caused kidney failure and he couldn't understand why. He was like, why me? Everybody uses this. Why me? What was me? What was me? And that's just one example of a person who um, was using bad substances and it, it literally almost killed him. So I just want you to, to be aware that the, this is what happens. This is the reality of what you do. Um, other than the bad substances, there was a time that my hair was falling out. I would literally just pull it out like this and my curls would be falling out. Um, I lost my period for about five months, um, but I gave it back quite quickly as well once I stopped competing, which is great. Um, and I know that it sounds like a big like convenience to not have your period, but it's actually there for a reason. And yeah, that's that's all I have to say about the use of bad substances. Um, to be honest with you, I don't think I'll ever go back to competing. I'm loving my life. I'm loving my training. Um, I don't want to be constantly thinking about food or when my next meal is. I want to eat when I want to eat, and when I don't want to eat, I don't want to eat. Because also, when you're bulking, you eat a ton, a lot of food, and if I don't want to eat, I don't want to eat. If I want to eat, a bitch is going to eat, <laughs> okay? So, yeah, 
Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're competing, if you're thinking about competing, um, how old you are. Yeah, because I've never let any child of mine, one day when I have kiddies, male or female, do this sport. There are other sports that you can do. Kick a ball, you know, throw a rugby ball, whatever. Okay, maybe not rugby. Anyway, I'm blabbing. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Um, give it a big thumbs up, share it. Um, and by the way, I see you guys watching but you're not subscribing. The, the, the people who watch but are not subscribed are way more than the people who are subscribed and are watching. Do me a favor, also do yourself a favor, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!